In this video, we will be going over how to maintain your status as an F1 student. We will cover the rules and regulations you need to follow to maintain your status well at ASU. As an F1 student, you are required to enroll full-time by the start date of the semester and are required to maintain full-time enrollment throughout the semester. You can find the requirements for full-time enrollment on the ISSC website. Note that enrollment is not required in the summer semesters unless you are starting a new degree program or returning to ASU on a new initial I-20 during the summer. Students are eligible to apply for a reduced course load for the following reasons. You are in your final semester of study and have less than the required number of credits remaining to graduate. You are a graduate student whose final academic requirement is a thesis or dissertation and who are required to take one continuing registration credit. You have a medical issue in the current semester. A reduced course load is not required for the summer semester. You must update your local and service address in your MyASU portal within 10 days of moving. Your local address is your address in the United States while your CV's address is your address back in your home country. You must also update your demography information if one of the following has changed. Name, gender, nationality, passport, and or country of birth. If this information needs to be outdated, use the MySCC eForm portal to submit the F1 demography outdate eForm. As an F1 student, you must always keep your I-20 valid. If your I-20 is lost, stolen, or damaged, you can request a replacement I-20 using the My ISSC eForm portal to submit the replacement and travel I-20 request eForm. Please contact the ISSC if any of the information on the I-20 changes including your name, major, or program end date. If your I-20 is expiring and you have not yet finished your program requirements, you will need to apply for an extension using the My ISSC eForm portal to submit the extension request for I-20 eForm. It is your responsibility to keep all your original I-20s indefinitely. You must always have a valid passport as long as you are staying in the United States. Check your passport expiration date frequently and before it expires. Contact your embassy for instructions on how to renew it. While you do not need to have a valid visa while you are in the United States, you will need to be valid if you plan on leaving and returning to the United States. This means you do not need a valid visa to remain in the U.S., nor do you need a valid visa to apply for CPT, OPT, and or STEM OPT. Be sure to check your visa expiration date before you make any international travel plans. You can only renew your visa outside the U.S. at a U.S. Embassy or Consulate. ASU requires health insurance for F1 students. Every semester, an obligatory charge for health insurance is added to your ASU billing account. In order to work in the U.S. as an F1 student, you must have prior work authorization with the exception of on-campus student worker positions. If you are interested in an internship or other off-campus work opportunity, it is important you talk to the ISSC first to determine your eligibility. Working without authorization can have serious consequences on your immigration status. In addition to the guidelines already mentioned, students on post-OPT must report any employment outdates to the SEVP portal within 10 days of any changes being made. Stand OPT students must report their employment every six months to the ISSC using the Stand OPT extension reporting eForms. If there are any changes to your employment, a new I-983 must be submitted to our office within 10 days of the change being made. Failing to maintain your status can have serious consequences to your immigration status and can ultimately lead to termination of your CV's record and require you to leave the United States. Please note that the termination of your CV's record does not have an impact on your visa. If you feel you may have gone out of status, please reach out to our office immediately if we haven't already reached out to you. Termination is rarely ever immediate. Therefore, if you are receiving emails regarding your status, please be proactive in responding and resolving the issue. It is important that you take steps to ensure your status is maintained and we at the ISSC are here to help answer any question you may have. For more information, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit our website at 
issc.asu.edu. Thank you.